Hey everyone, Nick Busey here. Today I'm going to show you how to use HomeLab OS to set up Tink. Tink creates a VPN connection that allows you to expose services running on hardware that is potentially behind firewalls and on a non-static IP address to the internet, all without needing Dyn DNS or messing around with firewalls or port forwarding on your router. To do that, we'll use the Terraform feature included in HomeLab OS to spin up a small DigitalOcean droplet. Then HomeLab OS will set up a Tink VPN and forward the traffic from the droplet to your home server. We'll pick up where my previous video left off. We have Jellyfin served via a host file override, but we want to actually serve it to the internet. So in the previous video, we had set jellyfin.test.local in our host file to point to my local network IP address for the server which is great, it works, but only on this computer and not outside of the network, but we want to serve it to the internet as a whole. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that host file override just so we know we're not messing around here. And I'm actually going to use a real domain name for the purpose of this video as well. So let's go ahead and edit the config settings. Um, config.yaml, I will change the domain to demo.homelabos.com. Um, I already plugged in my DigitalOcean key, so I should just need to run make Terraform. And HomeLabOS will tell DigitalOcean exactly what kind of server to create. It'll also go ahead and copy my SSH keys up there for me so that Ansible can do its thing once it has created the server. I'll type in yes there to tell Terraform to go ahead and do its thing. And it should only take a few seconds. Uh, DigitalOcean is pretty quick with this. Amazon takes a bit longer. Once this is finished, it's, it'll pump out an IP address for us. There we go. And I'm going to plug that into my config file as my Tink server. Um, I will also set my tank SSH user as root. Um, I'll go ahead and test that. SSH root at at that your IP. Yes. And there we go. There's my new DigitalOcean droplet ready to go. And then I'm also going to set enable tank to true. So now running make, all I need to do is run make. And this will update both my home server with the new domain that I want things to be served from, as well as setting everything up on the Bastion tank server, everything we need to make the VPN forwarding work. So while that does its thing in the background, I'm going to go ahead and update my name servers. I'm going to update my DNS record and I'm going to add a wildcard for star.demo.homelabos.com and I'm going to point it at the IP address of the DigitalOcean box that we just got back from Terraform. So this will run and do its thing. Alright, um, now that that's done if everything worked correctly, we should be able to go to jellyfin.tests or demo.homelabos.com. And there we go. Welcome to Jellyfin. If I ping this domain, You can see it's actually pinging, that's the IP of the DigitalOcean droplet we spun up earlier. And if I actually destroy that droplet using Terraform Destroy, that'll tell DigitalOcean to go ahead and delete that server. As soon as that's done, if I try and hit this again, well, it's just not going to work because there's nothing there to forward the traffic to my home server anymore. So that's how you set up Tink 
to create a VPN to serve your home services to the internet using Home Lab OS. Um, subscribe to the channel, join us on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Jump in the Zulip chat, there's a link to all that in the video description. Happy home hacking, have a good one. Thanks for watching, bye.